what's going on average tech guy here and today we're back more tech more reviews and uh, right here in front of us we have ipad os 18. so let's talk about it okay so ipad os 18 beta has been released of course to developers and we got a sneak peek of it. We're gonna see what it's looking like. Remember, everything that I do in this video, if it is glitchy, it's because it is a beta version. So just keep that in mind. Now, one of the biggest things that, and let's just go ahead and get all this out of the way. Android did it first, okay? So, customization of your screen. You can now basically take these widgets and long press to move them around and you can put them just about anywhere. Um, like I said, this is a little, little slow at times because this is beta. You can even change the shape of them now. Just like so. So it's fully customizable in that category. Once again, this is a feature that Android has been doing since Android was Android. But we now have this customization on the Apple devices. Next thing we wanna talk about is you can actually customize the lightness and darkness features from right here. So if you notice, my apps do not have any words up under them, right? If you make them small, they bring the words back and the titles up under the applications. And if you go back in and you make them large, makes the apps larger, but it disappears from the titles up under here. So let's go back into our edit mode. We'll just hold that down, edit, customize. And now, like I said, you can toggle between dark apps and light apps, dark apps and light apps. Now remember, this is not going to work for every application. If you notice all the apps don't turn dark when you change them. Just some of them. Like we got our YouTube apps right here. They never change. Look right down here. Music and Safari, they change. Every app does not change. So this is not gonna work for every application right now. And this is also one of the other features. So you can now customize the colors or the tint or the hue of your applications. Once again, it's a little glitchy at times because this is new territory, but you can make the blue darker and lighter blue, or you can bring it down to a whole different color and make it darker and lighter of that color. Coming here will actually allow you to pull a color from your background basically and match everything up, which that is way too dark. Or we'll come here and I will pull this color from my background, or I will come right up in this green, pull that color from my background. You can also toggle between your dark and your light modes in here as well. So a little more customization. We like it. Um, we know that Android has been doing this for years though. So it's just something new to do on Apple. And once again, I want to come out of here, hold this down. And now in these stacked up features, you can actually go in here and change the shape of your widget right on the fly, just like so. So a lot of different little customization, little doodads. And one of the other things, other features that I like is let's say you hold down an application now, it's gonna ask you if you want to require Face ID to use it. So that is another good feature because a lot of your apps that have security built into them, you can actually require face ID before you open it. And that way people won't be able to get your sensitive information. So you can choose how you want to do that. Now, the other part about customization that they kind of threw at us, and I really do like this feature is the control panel. So by swiping down, you actually can show our new control panel. You can actually flip through different ones and toggle, and you can go in and resize and edit these as well. If you hit the plus button, let's go back out and, cause I kind of tap the screen, but if you hit the plus button here, 
gives you the option to change these around. Looks like a mini iPod up here. You can add controls. Once you're done, we'll just hit that. And you can flip through these screens and basically change them up how you want to. Add, add a control, pick through the different controls that are over here. If you want a voice control over here, put it down there. These can also be adjusted as well. So just keep that in mind. A lot of customization is coming. We've been wanting this for a long time and we finally got our hands on it. Next up, within this new control panel, you can actually turn your device off. So you can power your device off. We don't wanna do that right now, but we need our passcode to get back in. And there we go. So you can actually turn it off from there. You can customize control panel. You can customize your colors, um, the size of your widgets now, the position of your widgets. It doesn't have to be so linear. You can basically just take them anywhere that you want. Your apps, your widgets, they can all be moved around just like that on your screen. Now, one of the other things when it comes to customization is going to be Apple Pencil Pro. So we did get a new feature with the Apple Pencil Pro in this new version of iOS. If you go into your settings and then we're going to go into our Apple Pencil. Once you're here, you're going to go up to squeeze and you know the squeeze feature is a new feature on this actual device right here. So what we're going to do is in squeeze, we're going to choose a shortcut. Once you choose a shortcut, it's going to allow you to pick which app you want the shortcut to do or whatever you want the shortcut to do. I got my app to or my shortcut to open up YouTube. So that's what it's going to do. Every time I squeeze on it, it is going to open up YouTube and squeeze on it and and squeeze on it and <laughs> there we go. So those are just some of the customization things that they added in iOS 18. I will be doing future reviews on this operating system as it goes forward. I will let you know when new little nuances come out and new updates uh, just for customization and different things that I like. So we'll do a calculator app review. We'll do um, more customization as it, as it comes out. We'll do a photo review. We'll do messages and things like that. So stay tuned for those. We got a little series coming on iOS 18 but hopefully this has kind of whet your appetite for that new operating system. And until next time, Average Tech out. Peace.